Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install WSUS and install Subway Update Point for SCCM Configuration Manager 26. I'm sorry, current branch. Um, the one I have right now it's 1802. So the first thing I need to do is go to install the WSUS. I click Manage. Go to Add Roles and Features. Click Next. Next, next. I check software update points and it's automatically want me to install all these components. Click add features. Click next. There's nothing I need to install here. So I click next. Next. I want to use my SQL Server as the WSUS database. So I click next. So it wants the local um, drive so it can store the updates. So I'm going to put on my D drive called WSUS. Everybody use WSUS as a folder or directory. Click next check connection so I have SQL Server right on this box the same box as at my configuration manager so I click next I click install the installation will take about five ten minutes maybe five minutes so I'm gonna let it finish Actually, I'm going to pause the recording, then I will come back to it. All right, look like the WSUS has been installed. I'm going to click close. Close. What's next is I need to install the software update point. So go to the SCM console here. Site configuration, site. right click on my premiere site click add site roles should be default there click next Click next. Software update point. Click next. I'm going to choose WSUS configured to use 8530 and 8531. I'm going to check this box in case I need to. Um, allow configuration manager cloud management gateway traffic I'm going to click next all right I'm going to click next so it's going to sync from Microsoft website. I'm going to leave that default. Click next. I'm just going to change this to it's just it's my testing. So it's the lab. So I'm just going to do it every one day. You should leave it at 70 if you're in a big enterprise. So I click next. So that's fine. You can run the WSUS cleanup wizard. So it's going to clean up your WSUS for you. I'm going to check that box. If you don't uh, check this box, it's not going to run it. It's not going to clean the database, the uh, old obsolete information.
just going to choose this one. I'm going to check everything. Oops, I'm not going to do the upgrade. I'm going to see here. I'm not going to choose that one since I don't have surface. I'm going to click next. All products. I want to make sure I choose Civil Light. Windows, Windows 7, I, yeah, I have Windows 7, I don't have Windows 8, I don't have Windows 3, I'm going to remove all that, uh, I leave Windows 2008 there, I don't have XP, so just remove that, Vista, I don't need that, I don't have any of these. So click next. I'm not going to need Chinese. That I'm just going to choose English only. Click next. Oops. Did I miss something? No, I don't want. I'm going to choose German. It should be English only there. Click next install or next so it's going to install the WSS I mean sorry it's going to install the software edit points and if you look at the log files it is in my C drive program files configuration manager oops wrong one Program files, configuration manager, logs, hierarchy manager that should provide some information. Uh, site component install. All right, looks good. No error so far. Let's see, SMS execs. So it's installing WSUS. It started. So far, so good. And if I go to monitoring, go to site status, comp component site status. If I type in WSUS, so so far so good. So that's it. That's how you install WSUS and software update point on your configuration manager. If you have any question, just you know, just make a comment there in the section, comment section, and I try to do my best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and have a good day.